Hello, this video has been designed to discuss some of the basics about Prezi. I'm already logged into my Prezi account, and now I'm going to click on New Prezi. Once I click on New Prezi, I'm brought to a repository of templates offered by Prezi. If I click on Latest, you will see the latest templates offered by Prezi. If I click on More, you can see all of the templates offered by Prezi. I can also search for templates in the Search for Templates field and click the magnifying glass. Once you're satisfied and you've found the template that you would like to use, simply double click on the template and you'll be opened up to an editing mode to add content to your Prezi presentation. This is the editing mode for the Prezi presentation. On the left hand side you can navigate through the Prezi and go through each frame. So if I want to go from frame 1 to frame 4, I simply click on frame 4 and I will be zoomed into frame 4. If I want to add text to this Prezi presentation, I can simply double click to add text. You'll be prompted, as you can see, it will say click to add text. So just double click and you can go ahead and add text. I'm going to zoom back out, so I'm going to click on frame number one, which zooms me back out so I can see the entire presentation. If I want to add a frame to this presentation, I simply click the addition sign on the top here, on the top left, and then I can add a frame. If I want to insert uh, multimedia, such as this YouTube video I have here, I go to Insert, and then I click YouTube Video, and I simply copy and paste the YouTube link right into this field here, and then click the blue Insert button. And as you see, the YouTube video has been embedded. And once you embed it, it will be a little bit bigger. I've already adjusted the size. So it will appear just like this, and you can adjust the size by clicking and dragging these corners to adjust the size. You can also use the addition and uh, minus sign for uh, minimizing and maximizing. So you can drag the, uh, the corners in and adjust the size and place the video right into a frame. You can also insert images as well. So if I click Image, I can select files from the local computer or I can search images from Google and Flickr and you can automatically embed those images as well. Once I'm satisfied with the presentation and I've added the content that I wanted to add to the Prezi or if I wanted to move any of these frames, which I, I can do by simply left clicking and holding and dragging to any location, I want to click Save just for peace of mind. It's this little disk icon up, up in the top left here. And then I'm going to click Exit. Once I click Exit, I can navigate through the Prezi by simply clicking the left or right arrow. So I'll click the right arrow to begin navigating through the Prezi and get a preview of how the Prezi is going to look when I can send this to um, specific viewers that I want to see the Prezi. So I can click Share by doing that. So I can share this Prezi and then I can copy and paste this link into an email or paste this link into a Moodle course. So with the free Prezi account, um, it, everything's defaulted to public and the checkbox for allow public reuse and help spread ideas is also checked. You'd have to upgrade to have your Prezi presentations be private or hidden. You can also embed your pre Prezi presentation. The Prezi presentations do not embed into Moodle courses, but they do embed into sites such as Wikispaces and Weebly. This concludes the video on some of the basics about Prezi.